Since What If Season 2 is coming out in exactly one month, we are doing a ranking of all nine episodes of What If. So before we get started, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. Let's get to a thousand. We are not that close, but we are close. So yeah, let's go. Coming in on last place is episode seven. What if Thor, Party Thor, I don't know, something about that. And this episode wasn't bad. It, it was one of the more boring ones, but it wasn't bad. I sat through it, it was pretty good. And I, the best thing, the, one of the only good things about this episode, one is the ending. Now, I don't mean it like when the credits roll in, the ending when um, Ultron comes. And the action. This is one of the best action in the episodes because it's cool to see Captain Marvel and Thor fighting. Like, I like. Well, I don't really like animation that much, but animation, especially with fight scenes, you can really do anything. I mean, not anything, but you can do a lot of stuff because you don't have limits of actors and you don't have limits of effects and stuff. So animation, you can do a lot of cool fight stuff and I feel like they did this. I think they could have gone a little bit more with the action, but it was still a good episode. So number eight, I think, yeah, number eight is the Tony and, um, Tony and Killmonger episode. And this episode was good. Um. It came after the zombie episode, and I was kind of a little disappointed about that. I was like, well, I was like, uh, this episode's fine. But now I just rewatched it, and it's actually pretty good. I would give it a strong, like, 4 out of 10. It was, it was enjoyable, but none of this stuff was special. So let's go to number 7. Number 7 for me is... I'm trying to think of the episode so I can make them... Oh, number one, the episode one. What if Captain Korda began? <laughs> Something like that. And this episode is, it's not bad. I would say that I enjoyed it, but I think they could have really done more with it because it's not that interesting. Like, I didn't see anyone asking for what if Captain Korda or something, so. I don't care, it was a good episode, but that's why it's right here. Number six, I think it's the six. I'm trying to think of all these episodes. Oh yeah, episode, no, episode eight was good. Um, Episode two. Now, this is actually a good, this is where all the episodes are so good now. So episode, no, number two, no, number six is episode two. Now, this episode was really good. I liked it, and I think this is one of Chad Chadwick Boseman's last project in the MCU. And, yeah, that's sad, but he did a really good job voicing the T'Challa, and it was really cool to see what if. Like, what if Thanos was a good guy? What if this is the one where I actually was like, mm, that seems like something that couldn't happen. Like, I can imagine Captain Carter being... Cap well, um, Peggy being Captain of Quarter, but I can't imagine Solo being um, Black Panther or T'Challa. So, yeah, this episode was really good, and yeah, so let's go to number five. Number five for me is episode six. No, episode six was, sorry, episode eight. Episode eight, sorry guys. I so, episode eight is actually one of the best in the series. But it is a little slow at some points. I do really like the action between the Watcher and Ultron. So, yeah, this is one of the best MCU series episodes ever. But something had to come this slow, and it was really good. So, let's go to number four. Number four for me is going to be... I'm going to say episode five. What if zombies or something? I definitely think they could have done more with this episode. I think it could have been more, a little more dark because they were cracking jokes the whole time and like the friends were dying then. 
a minute later they made a joke. But I don't care. This was so cool to see. And it, it reminded me of what if like the other half got snapped. Like, I don't if you don't know what I mean by that, but like it was cool to see those characters work together. Like the characters that got dusted kinda died. No, the characters that didn't just died and it was cool to see the the characters were never seen interact interact with each other and it was really cool and I like zombie stories I do feel like they really could have done better but yeah it's a really good episode I enjoyed it so let's go to number three number three for me I know I'm missing oh yeah number three is number three the episode three this one I really enjoyed because I liked how it was a mystery like we didn't know who was killing all the Avengers like, I didn't know. I was like, um, I don't know. I didn't know who this is. I found out when they revealed it. I never would have thought about that. And it was really cool. I really liked it. And it's crazy. I This is one of the best MCU television episodes yet. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I really love this episode. And it was so cool. So, let's go to number two. Number two for me is... Episode 4, and this is definitely, like, the third best episode out of all the MCU series, because this one is the one of the only ones that actually wasn't, there wasn't cracking jokes the whole time, this was a serious storyline, and that's what I really like about this episode, that it knows that it's serious, so, they were hindering something like she or death, and it would be unrealistic if it made a joke, so yeah, that's what I really liked about this episode, the storyline was good, it made me like Doctor Strange in the MCU way better, and yeah, just amazing storyline, amazing a action, and everything is amazing in the episode, but it's not number one. Number one for me is episode nine, and what if the Guardians of the Multiverse saved the day, something like that. This episode is amazing, and I love to see the Guardians of the Multiverse come together and fight Ultron. This is a def definitely a way better Ultron than the one in Age of Ultron. This one's actually threatening, and yeah, this is one of the best MCU episodes. I know I say about most of these, but this is truly one of the best. And when people say they don't like what if, just watch this episode. It doesn't break, like, any grounds of action, but this is so good, and 10 out of 10, and I love this episode. So, go watch this series, and streaming December 22nd on Disney+. Plus. So, let's do the outro. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and, yeah, we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so, yeah, you can subscribe. Bye.